Okay. Hey, Mashed Potatoes, this is Dave O'Gara from Miniature Mashup here, just at Empire, Atomic Empire in Durham, North Carolina, for their first paint and take event. Today, we're painting the Beholder. So far, it seems like I'm the only one here. So there I was at the Nolzer's paint and take event for the Beholder, and I was there to get another Beholder, because the first Beholder I was given didn't have a base or tentacles. Not that I'm being ungrateful, that was an excellent gift. But here it was a chance for me to complete that Beholder and get another one of these hard-to-find managers for just five bucks. And I'm no stranger to organized WizKids events. I used to play Hero Clicks, and shut in that I am, I need to take advantage of every opportunity that presents itself to get out of the house and maybe talk to people who share my my hobbies. Now, from what I had read online, some places were doing these as a painting contest, a three-hour contest, you paint the miniature, and I assumed the winner would win a second miniature, and that's how hero clicks always were. That wasn't the case here, we were just painting for a few hours. The paint and the brushes that were supplied were pretty low quality, but that's very understandable. I wouldn't let a stranger handle my pots of seven dollar paint that's for sure I'd, and it wasn't super productive just working on one model because you know it needs to dry and I have to take breaks but I did talk to a couple of real painting enthusiasts I learned about a store in downtown Raleigh where I could get games workshop stuff half off and I also spoke with another gentleman who was very much into games workshops contrast paints and telling me all about them something I was curious about even though I had a good time, I'm not entirely sure I'd go to one of these again. Unless I need that model, it's just not really that opportune. It is nice. I got lucky in that I met a couple of friendly people, but some people were very standoffish. A lot of people sort of got into clicks and painted by themselves, and, you know, that's understandable, too. Well, guys, that's about it for me. Uh, I got the base coats in, but um, three hours is not a ton of time to paint a really nice miniature like this. Plus, I've been shooting the breeze with everybody around here. Uh, I had a lot of fun today, but uh, I think I'm going to take this miniature home and finish them there. This paint and take event felt like half an idea. If it's a contest, that makes sense. I can see people coming out for it and trying to win that model. I mean, I would go to those in hopes that I could win myself a second model for free. But I could see that driving people away if the idea is to bring in new people to the hobby, introduce new people to it which does seem to be the point, then you certainly wouldn't want to go with a contest because you would just get all the sort of, uh, almost like pool hustlers would come in. Unless you had different levels. Maybe once you win one contest, you can only qualify for um, a sort of a second tier that starts up for people who've won the contests. I don't know. I feel like there's a way to do that. That would certainly be more compelling uh, than just sit around and paint with strangers. But again, very happy to get my hands on this beholder. I brought him home. Here you can just see the various stages of painting I took him through. He's got washes, highlights. I'm pretty happy with the job I did on his base. That's it, guys. I'm glad this event is out there. Maybe it'll bring more people into the hobby. Um, I had a good time. Although, like I said, I'm not sure I'd go to another one of these. I probably will. If they're consistently good, I'll continue to go to these. But we'll see. All right, guys, just a little check-in this week. Nothing too major, just painting a off-the-shelf model. Uh, but I've got more coming for you real soon. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider donating to my GoFundMe campaign that's in the description below. Hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And come visit us on Facebook, where you can see pictures of the model I painted here, as well as many others. You can talk to me about purchasing models. In fact, this brown and green beholder, he's for sale. I'm going to put him up on eBay. So talk to me, guys. All right, bye.